Charles this morning. And he told me before he hung up that you and him is getting a divorce. But what I can't seem to figure out is why you here. He put me out of the house. Who house? Our house. Exactly. How the hell are a man going to put a woman out of her own house? He might have put me out, but he was going to put me out of half. I was going to go in the other half of the house. He wasn't putting me out of all of it. The house is in his name, my dear. Lord, Amber, that's how women get messed up. Too busy out shopping when you need to be checking the deed. <laughs> Ooh, that make me mad, girl. I don't have any rights to the money. No right. I signed a prenup. What the hell you sign a prenup? I'll punch you in the face. Who the hell told you to sign a prenup? He ain't have nothing when you married him. Charles always knew he'd be successful, and he said to me, I want to know that you're here for love. And I didn't have a job, so it's his money. If What was you doing while he was working, huh? Taking care of the house, cooking, and cleaning. Exactly. That sounds like a job to me. Cooking and cleaning. How long you do that? 18 years. All right, okay. See how much she owes. 18 years. You've been cooking, clean team, having sex with him when he wanted. Was it good? No. Major deduction. And I didn't tell you that he hit me. $2,083,974,520,082. And you need to get your money. That'll never happen. You want to bet? It can happen one of two ways, honey. You can get it from his checking account voluntarily or his insurance policy. Involuntary manslaughter. Which one is going to be? My dear. Mm -mm. I ain't finna have this. Come on. What? Where are we going? To your house. Oh, no. The guard will never let us in. I say, come on. 